Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a uh, disassembly and maintenance video for you on this little guy right here. This is the Civivi Brigand uh, in copper. Uh, oh, well, yeah, it's actually freaking copper. Well, I mean, not the blade, but the rest of the knife is. Anyways, I digress. Let's go ahead and take this guy apart. Um, This is a disassembly video that I... I uh, let's go meta right quick, right? This is a disassembly video that I fear is probably unnecessary. Um, This knife itself is sort of... Uh, another Civivi, right? Um, and frankly, it's another Civivi, very similar to all the other ones out there. I mean, I feel like there are going to be no major surprises in the construction, etc. Um, and so I, I, and I have this feeling every so often, right? Holy cow, what is this? He says, being surprised. I'm going to go ahead and scrape off. Oh, that's just a lot of thread locker. Wow. Okay. That means I'm probably going to be fighting some thread lock and taking this guy apart. Whatever, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this iFixit spudger tool here to uh, get up in there and uh, see if I can't break that loose. But I, uh, yeah, and if you're curious, by the way, about this or any of the other tools I use on my disassemblies, go ahead and check out nickshabazz.com slash tools and you'll get a better sense of what it is that I use. Yeah, okay, good. Yep, that was just a bunch of thread locker on there. And the reason I'm using, by the way, a plastic tool here is because, well, um, I don't want to scuff up the metal, right? And this is definitely not going to hurt the metal. And frankly, it'll, as it says on the tool, you know, this is going to break before your device does. This is meant for, like, phones and whatnot, but it turns out that it's actually quite good for that. Um, and so we can take this guy apart, and what we'll see here is that this construction is, it's a line of Vivi, right? Um, there's not a whole lot to report. I mean, they have done some skeletonization here, which is nice. And definitely makes the copper a little bit more, uh, well, I, I'm not going to say it makes it a little bit better in terms of weight because, oh my God, is the weight of this thing insane. But what I will say is that it, uh, well, <laughs> I'm glad they did do it, right? Uh, it it could have been worse uh, without that. So, you know, go ahead and take that apart. No problem there. But yeah, I mean, the question is, you know, okay, it's another Civivi liner lock. Do you need a disassembly video? And in fact, people ask me that all the time. But at some level, there is a sense of completeness to it, right? The disassembly and maintenance videos was sort of uh, accidental. I just started, I did a couple of them after people, you know, were asking me, well, how do you service that? How do you take it apart? And then it's just sort of become a thing. By the way, what we're going to see here, if I don't, if I stop dropping the damn thing, is there is a little tiny hole on the side of this guy. See that right there? there. That little hole, I bet on the other side, yeah, there is a corresponding ridge. And so that little hole needs to cover up that ridge. And that's what stops the pivot from being free spinning. That's a beautiful thing. I appreciate that very much, but you need to, that means when you reinsert the pivot, you need to make sure that everything is properly oriented and that this is fully seated rather than if you've got it incorrectly, uh, where this is going to be sticking up past the top there. And then sooner or later, it will snap in there. And then suddenly your pivot's loose. But anyways, so the, 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 the disassembly videos is sort of accidental in and of themselves. Uh, it's been interesting and kind of entertaining, actually. I've now been seeing a lot more reviewers out there, especially new reviewers, doing that as sort of a matter of course. Whoa, I'm still zoomed in. Um, but, uh, you know, for me, that, that wasn't a thing for a long time. There was a point, in fact, where I did a bunch of disassemblies on knives that I... Uh, uh, that I had reviewed previously and still had around, but there were definitely knives on my channel that don't have disassemblies. Very, very old videos. Okay, wow, look at that. There is a bunch of gunk on the inside of that. Probably some of the thread locker residue um, th th that came out of there. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to use a little bit of rubbing alcohol here on a Q-tip just to get up inside there. And there we go. Nice and easy. Clean this whole thing out. Hopefully the action's going to be a little bit better once I'm done with it. Although I'll be honest, the action is fine as it stands, right? But anyways, so I'm always curious. You know, I'm always, there's a part of me with a knife that's like this one, where it's just kind of like, yeah, it's a Civivi, right? Um, there's a part of me that feels like, why am I, why, why am I doing this disassembly again? Everyone knows how this works. But then I have to remind myself, you know, oh, there might be somebody who doesn't, right? There might be somebody who's brand new to the community, who's never taken apart an, any kind of pocket knife before, and they just got themselves a Civivi Brigand, and they're like, oh my God, how do I take care of this thing? Um, And so, yeah, it's a thing. The downside, of course, to making these videos, and one that I am very cognizant of, um, and occasionally am reminded of by my knife maker friends, is that, oh, well, you know, hey, Nick, you don't have to take everything apart, right? And that's true. 
right? Uh, at some level, you can often get a little bit, especially if you're relatively skilled with reassembly and whatnot, not claiming, by the way, that I necessarily am, but, uh, you know, you can often get a little bit more performance out by adding in a nicer lubricant. In this case, I'm using Nano Oil 10 weight, but Knife Pivot Lube works uh, exactly the same. Uh, <coughs> pardon me, in bearing nice circumstances. But, you know, it, it definitely, it, it has established a little bit more of a culture of reparability, which I think is a good thing, but also of this assembly, which I think can be a, a good thing or it can be a little bit bad. And it certainly encouraged a culture of over-lubrication, which, yeah, I'll take that knock. Um, But anyways, so, you know, it, it's become a thing that I sort of do as a matter of course. But as I'm looking at this knife, which, by the way, is going to get a quick review, because at some level, like, dude, it's a conventional Linolox Civivi, except they made it out of brass, and it's shaped a little different than the last one. Um, It's, you know, it's still something I feel like I kind of need to do. Given that this is going to be, hopefully, God willing, I'm going to get this done nice and quick here, and it'll be a 5 minute and 50 second video, I don't feel like it's too much of a cost of anybody's time, and in practice, it's probably going to be more interesting to most people as a rant than it was as a disassembly. But yeah, using a little bit of thread locker on there, locking this guy shut. And uh, although not completely, I'm using a blue 242 thread locker here, as I have on nickshabazz.com slash tools. Um, uh, but, you know, the goal there is just to keep these screws from backing out on their own. The blade is currently not in its proper position, but that's actually a good thing because uh, that means that uh, things will not be sort of too wonky. There we go. We have popped together the stop pin. I need to make sure the pivot is seated properly. In order to do that, I'm probably going to need to um, hold the lock bar down because with the lock bar, uh, with the lock bar in position, actually it's putting some pressure on the stop pin here, which is going to prevent things from going together properly. So by pressing down the lock bar, actually, you get a better sense of what's going on here. And finally, I, in this case, this is aligned properly, right? The C is in the right position, but it's not quite pulled all the way through. I think that it's just, it's not quite ready yet. So I'm going to play a little bit of a dangerous game here, but I, I think it's one that's going to work fine for me. Um, in that I'm going to start just, I'm going to put a little thread locker on the pivot here, which is useful. Again, you don't watch pivot coming loose. Uh, until you want it to, that is. And then I'm going to use the pivot. I'm going to screw the pivot in place here. And that should pull, as we're seeing right here, that's going to pull the pivot the rest of the way into the position. And indeed, we are there. And so, this is probably going to mean that this pivot is a little too tight right now. Eh, maybe a little, but no play. So now I'm going to loosen it back up just a smidge. And note that when I do that, this part doesn't come back out, right? So I loosen it up just a smidge. Oh, that was actually too much of a smidge. So let's let's do half a smidge. There we go, half a smidge. Part of it is going to be this stone wash. It's actually going to make the action feel a little less smooth. But nonetheless, we are good to go. The action, uh, the, the blade is dead centered here. Is it dead centered? Yeah, close enough that I don't give a crap, right? Um, It's pretty close. Uh, if it's not dead centered, the uh, knife locks up beautifully. It's actually, the action is a little bit nicer now that I've got that, uh, all the thread locker out of there, and we are good to go. So, 8 minutes and 27 seconds, most of which is musing. Um, hopefully was amusing too, but there you go. Um, hope this has been interesting to you, and uh, have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of your day, and hey, let me know in the comments. Do you enjoy these, this, uh, like, uh, did, 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 uh, you liking the fact that I'm doing these for all these times? I don't know. Anyways, there you go. Hope this has been interesting to you, and have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.